Welcome everyone. As you press play, you should be able to um, hear me and uh, see me talking with a slight delay from where I am. And looking forward to having everyone here. I think everybody can see and hear me now. Good. So happy Halloween. We'll see everyone as they get here. I think we're all set getting started. Welcome, everybody. We'll get going uh, in about seven minutes. Welcome everybody who's just joining us. Um, uh, please say hi as you arrive. Um, and if you haven't voted on the groups yet in the cyber.law.harvard.edu slash question slash on hangout, please go ahead and do so. So we'll get started in about five minutes. I should have some music playing in the background here or something. Sous sa toque plâtre, sur la butte Montmartre, un petit air innocent. On l'appelait rose, elle était belle, à sentait bon la fleur nouvelle de rue Saint-Vincent. On n'avait pas connu son père, elle n'avait plus de mère. Et depuis 1900, à chez sa vieille aïeule, ou qu'elle servait comme ça toute seule, le Saint-Vincent. A travaillé déjà pour vivre, et les soirs de givre, sous le froid noir et glaçant, son petit fichu sur les épaules. À rentrer par la rue des Saules, rue Saint-Vincent. À voyer dans les nuits de gelée, la nappe étoilée, et la lune en croissant, qui brillait blanche et fatidique, sur la petite croix de la basilique, rue Saint-Vincent. 
L'été par les chauds crépuscules a rencontré Jules, qui était si caressant. Qu'a resté la soirée entière avec lui près du vieux cimetière, rue Saint-Vincent. Mais le petit Jules était de la tierce qui soutient la gerce, aussi l'adolescent. Voyant qu'elle ne marchait pas au pentre, d'un coup de sur la lutte au ventre, rue Saint-Vincent. Quand ils l'ont couché sous la planche, elle était toute blanche, même quand l'ensevelissant. Les craques mordis et clapent aux gosses étaient claqués le jour de sa noce. Rue Saint-Vincent. Elle avait sous sa toque de meurtre sur la butte mon meurtre un petit air innocent. On l'appelait rose, elle était belle, elle sentait bon la fleur nouvelle, rue Saint-Vincent. So we've got 25 people who are signed up and about nine here, um, and it's about noon. So I might give people another five or 10 minutes to make their way here and show up. So we might start uh, a little bit late, but it's great to have people um, chatting in the chat room, um, saying hello to each other. Um, Chen, great to see you here. Thanks for joining us. So if people take a minute to introduce themselves uh, to each other in the chat window, and then I'll sort of uh, explain how we'll, we'll break up into some small groups and move along from there. Uh, I can't hear you, Renee. I'm not totally sure why. Can you hear me? Be able to. We're trying to, for people who are watching us, we're trying to get Renee hooked in here as well. For whatever reason, we can't get him to, um, we, we can't hear his voice. Renee, if you try talking, do we uh, do we hear you? We can make everyone see you.
All right, everybody, let's give uh, just a couple more minutes. I was hoping to um, bring one other person here into the main hangout room, um, but uh, we're working on that. So we'll take just a couple minutes to continue to let everyone um, continue to let everyone connect with each other and say hello, and we'll get started in a little bit. Great. Um, well, welcome everybody. Um, why don't we go ahead and get started? Um, so I'd like to welcome you to our first effort um, at the Charles River Colloquium to use the Unhangout platform um, to try to do some uh, cross-national, international collaboration among MOOC researchers. Um, my name is Justin Reich. I'm a research scientist at MIT, um, and I run a group called the Teaching Systems Lab. Um, and I think I know just about everybody, but for those who I haven't met, I'm super excited to get to know you. Um, what we're, uh, um, what we're going to do in this session, really my vision for it, is the goal is for us to break up into small rooms uh, full of uh, people uh, who are interested in similar kinds of things and let people have small group conversations and then kind of report back to the whole group um, about how people are um, about how people are thinking about their research for the year ahead. Um, let me just pause for one second and make sure um, that everyone can hear me. Can everyone hear me in the video? Um, but hopefully people can hear me. What I've done um, is sort of organized us. If you look in the lower left-hand corner of your display, um, there are a, a series of breakout rooms there, which are pretty much based on um, what people's suggestions for were for the kinds of things that they wanted to talk about and the kind of groups that they wanted to self-organize into. Um, I've picked six of them. Adaptive and personalized learning, data and learning analytics, discussion, discourse, and learning, qualitative and mixed methods research, global collaboration and peer learning, um, and course design and research. Um, so the idea is in a minute, I'll unlock these rooms. Um, people will go into those rooms. You'll just sort of self-select what rooms you want to go into. I would recommend that you uh, go into rooms with people who are not your colleagues so you can get to know some other folks. Um, and in those rooms, take about 40 minutes to have small group conversations. Um, really focused on just describing the kind of research that you're thinking about working on this year. Um, 
and, uh, um, and to really try to hear from other folks about the kinds of things they're working on. Um, I would ask for those of you who are famous, um, and, you're, and you're famous if you have tenure, you're famous if uh, you are the president of a society, you're famous if you're the editor of a journal. Um, for those of you who are famous, um, maybe let the people who are not famous go first um, sharing uh, their work um, and then we'll have a, uh, um, and then we'll have a chance to sort of hear from everyone. Um, when the uh, Chris B asks a great question, um, you don't see uh, 18 slots. There are going to be 10 slots in each room. Um, so not everyone will be in the same room. Ideally, we'll split ourselves up if there are 18 of us. Um, uh, any, any size grouping is fine. If two people end up in a room at once, that's the exact right number of people um, to be in a room. Uh, and if for some reason everybody wants to get in the same room, then we'll make two versions of the same room um, and we'll organize ourselves that way. Um, I would ask that someone try to take good notes um, while they're in the room. Um, maybe someone volunteer to ask a little bit as a facilitator to make sure that everyone gets uh, some equal airtime. Um, let uh, um, have someone take some notes and then I'll ask uh, one person from each group um, at about 12.50 or 12.55 or something like that um, to join me in this main uh, Google Hangout on air um, and uh, do a little bit of a summary from uh, from your group. Um, uh, Patrice asked a great question, is there a hashtag for this? Um, there isn't a hashtag, um, but uh, you know, what would people propose um, for a hashtag? Maybe CRX, I don't know if that's taken. CRX, you know, on Hangout. We can actually just use on Hangout. Sometimes that's a good one because other people can see the on Hangouts. Um, uh, this is, people in the chat room can sort of vote on what they think the best option is and go from there. Um, does anybody have any other questions about how this will operate? It'll be you know, sort of the um, ah yeah uh, Chen, um, you probably can't actually quantum tunnel between two rooms, but it's totally fine to switch rooms. It's totally fine to spend 20 minutes in one room and then jump out and spend 20 minutes in another room. Um, uh, that's totally fine. It's, if there are two people who end up in a room and talk about things for 15 minutes and then they both want to jump into another room, that's fine too. Just letting people sort of go in and out, moving back and forth. It should be relatively easy to go from this room to your Google Hangout room. Um, if people have any difficulties um, with any kind of technical stuff, you know, go ahead and email me at uh, justinwright at mit.edu and I'll try to troubleshoot. Um, and I'll sort of stay in here in case other people join and things like this and try to pull us back together um, in, about, uh, in about 45 minutes or something like that. Um, so the, you know, just to summarize what we're going to do, um, when open, join room, have good conversation about work for coming year, starting with younger, newer scholars, Take good notes, share airtime, um, appoint one person to summarize, and I'll invite to hang out. Um, that is the game plan. Does, um, uh, yeah, video is super, super late, which is something that the geniuses over at the MIT Media Lab are working on. Um, so it's, yeah, if, if you think it's a weird experience to be slightly out of sync, um, it's a completely weird experience for me to be slightly out of sync. Um, but uh, um, in a minute, you know, once you guys actually get into the small breakout rooms, you won't have any of that problem. It'll operate just like a totally normal Google Hangout. Um, great. So, um, da, 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 da. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the sessions. Um, so you should now be able to uh, click join and um, go into the rooms that you want to go into, self-organize yourself. I can send you messages into all the rooms. Um, and in about 40 minutes or so, uh, I'll invite you to come back and we'll do a kind of summary exercise. Um, so people are free to start uh, joining the rooms that, we're, that they're interested in. Um, and uh, I hope you all have some really great conversations with one another. Um, and uh, you're welcome to jump back in here at any point if people have any questions um, about process or anything else. 
you, for whatever reason, there's exactly one person who has joined each of the first five rooms. So um, that hopefully is a good sign.